Welcome to my new video and you are watching Ryson Spray Booth and I am a host Ryson and today I have brought you one more repainting video which will be of this Hero Honda Splendor fuel tank. You can see the tank there was a hole in the tank here that's why it has a weld job on it and in between the fuel tank as you can see that there are spots of rust. This is a very old bike and this bike is most of the time near the coastal areas. This fuel tank has been repainted before you can make out on the paint finish. If you want to learn auto body and painting then I have put a link in the description you can go there and then roll yourself this is going to be an amazing video guys see that you watch till the end and i'm hoping that you will like this video so come on let's start the video i've got an itch i can't scratch i'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me an open wound start to see everybody come here gather round welcome to the so whenever you are starting with the paint job the first thing that you will have to do is remove all the decals and stickers. So here I am going to, to remove all the paint from the fuel tank because I don't know how many coats are there on this tank and it is also having some rust issues and I don't know how far this rust has reached from interior. So because of that I will strip the entire fuel tank with a paint stripper and I will start from the bare metal. Many people have doubts that whenever you are painting a fuel tank you will have to strip the entire paint. This is not at all required. If you want to strip the entire paint then there can be only three reasons for that. The number one reason is if your paint has paint bonding issues. The second reason can be if, if rust is building up from underneath your paint. And the third reason is if you have laid too many coats of paint on the fuel tank and it is become a very thick layer that is the time you should be using a paint stripper. Once you strip the paint see that you wash the entire fuel tank properly because if the chemical remains on the surface then when you spray the fresh paint it will not stay on the surface. This paint stripping is a very expensive process believe me guys it is not a cheap process because we need a separate chemical to remove the paint and it takes a lot of time as well to remove all the paint. But if you are doing it on your own bike then you don't have to pay anybody. As you can see here that I am doing my paint job at home in my home garage. I have converted my home garage into a bodywork area and a spray booth so that my new students when they start to just learn the skill for the first time I wanted to know what they will go through that is why I have done this. Once you strip the paint from the tank you should not keep the fuel tank like this bare metal you should sand it as quickly as possible and apply a epoxy primer or an each primer otherwise your metal can start to rust which can create more problems in the future. Now this fuel tank has two sides one is the top side and one is the bottom side so first I will be painting the bottom side and on the bottom side I will be spraying a single stage black paint and once I am done painting the bottom side of the fuel tank then I will start to do the bodywork on the top side of the fuel tank. Now I will start to do the denting on the top side. Wherever there are dents I will fill those dents up now and then I will level them. So if you want to learn auto body and painting step by step like compressor setting up, paint mixing ratios, dent leveling, clear coat application, which tools you should be using, basically everything what you want to learn about auto body and painting. On top of that you will get access to my private Facebook group where we have like minded people where you can ask your questions and get them answered and you can also post the photos and videos of your paint jobs and get reviews. So to get all these benefits I have created a course. The link to enroll in the course I have put in the description. This course is in English and in Hindi. It is available in both the languages. If you want you can enroll yourself. Now once I am done repairing the dents I am now applying the 2K primer on top of it. Now I will send this 2K primer and apply the base coat and clear coat. Here I want to tell you an important thing because many people ask me where is your garage where I can come and practice my skill so that they can come there and practice their skill where they can come to learn. So I will clear this doubt of yours. I have also learned auto body and painting by watching videos online. I had enrolled myself in one of the auto body and painting courses where I have spent money and learned all this stuff and let me remind you guys that you will not get a course about auto body and painting at such a affordable price anywhere in this world. It totally depends on you how you practice at home. You can watch the videos again and again. If your doubt is not clear then you can even ask me. So to learn this you don't have to only go in the garage. You can even learn this process in your home garage like how I have done it. I will also put a step by step process of this particular paint job inside of my course.
so i'm hoping that guys lots of your doubts has been cleared by this video especially about why you should not be using paint stripper on all the fuel tanks so i will keep bringing this type of amazing content so if you like this video and if you found this video useful then see that you like and share with your friends and family and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when i release my next video thanks for watching rice and spray booth so come on let's see the final look of this fuel tank